On this day in 1787, the Founding Fathers signed the United States Constitution in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Today we recognize Constitution Day and we also honor the Declaration of Independence. The Declaration of Independence, which we celebrate on the 4th of July, was written during the American Revolution and it announced the colony's break with Great Britain. When the Second Continental Congress adopted the Declaration of Independence in 1776, the delegates had to decide to sign or not to sign, knowing that their signatures would be considered an act of treason against Great Britain. In the end, 56 delegates made the brave decision to sign the Declaration of Independence. Let's remember some of the most famous words from the Declaration of Independence. If you wish, please recite them with us. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. Eleven years later, in 1787, each state sent delegates to the Constitutional Convention to design a new government. The result was a government divided into three co-equal branches. The legislative branch, Congress, has the power to make laws. There are two parts of Congress, the House of Representatives and the Senate. The executive branch has power to enforce laws and is led by the President. The judicial branch of government has the power to interpret laws and is made up of the national courts, including the Supreme Court. The three branches of the government work together. No one branch has too much power. The power is designed to be shared. At the end of the discussion and the debate at the Constitutional Convention, the delegates once again had to decide to sign or not to sign. Ultimately, 39 delegates out of the original 55 signed the United States Constitution. It would not be enacted until nine of the states ratified it, meaning they approved it. It took some time, and there were disagreements between the Federalists and the Anti-Federalists. The Federalists supported the Constitution and wanted a strong and national government. The Anti-Federalists opposed the Constitution because they worried it did not protect people's rights. The states had to decide to ratify the Constitution or not to ratify the Constitution. Many of the states agreed to approve the Constitution if the bill protecting individual rights was added to it. So the Bill of Rights was added to the Constitution in 1791. It contains the first ten amendments and protects our personal rights and freedoms. When the Constitution was written, it also included a way to make changes. Changes are made through amendments. Many important amendments have been added to the Constitution throughout our history. In 2020, we celebrated the 100th anniversary of the passing of the 19th Amendment, which allowed women the right to vote. That's a really big deal! The amendment process could take a long time. For example, when Congress proposed the 19th Amendment, the states had a decision to ratify or not to ratify. The movement for the women's right to vote started in the late 1800s. During that time, people like Elizabeth Cady Stanton and Susan B. Anthony wrote petitions and asked Congress to pass a constitutional amendment that would allow women the right to vote. In the 1900s, the movement for women to be allowed to vote grew larger and larger. Gaining a lot of support, the states finally approved the 19th Amendment in 1920. As you can see from the history we have shared, the power of government comes from the people, and as Abraham Lincoln said in the Gettysburg Address, we have a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. Now let's end with how the United States Constitution begins. We the people of the United States! In order to form a more perfect union, establish justice and ensure domestic tranquility, Provide for the common defense. Promote the general welfare. And secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America.